Hello everyone. This is your host from Mod Middle Leaf Podcast. I've uh, I've broken the chain of the string of everyday video recording. Well, it was uh, a little bit difficult for me to do it. Uh, I'm doing now this one on the commute from work. And uh, and yeah, but I had to comment some of the of the recent events. Some of them I have commented on solo videos I have done previously. And uh, and uh, then I've seen a lot of YouTubers releasing videos talking about different subjects I have uh, I have mentioned on previous videos. And. I, I, I don't want to make this video long, by the way. So, I, I want to talk about what I think is the hype around the news or sometimes the the predictions that are made based on the news. What I mean with this, and we are talking about, let me put it in context, we are talking about the geopolitical scene with the epicenter in Ukraine. So, recently there was this, the big players gathered in the UN hall. There were speeches, uh, both sides capitalized on their arguments. Although, if, if you allow me to, to express my opinion, I do think that uh, when I hear, for example, when I compare the speech of Mr. Lavrov with the speech of uh, Mr. Biden, I have no doubt of the one who, who has more consistency and, <laughs> and of, the, of the two spokespersons, if I may call them that. I don't know if it's the appropriate word. The two uh, people that are giving the speech, we, we know who who is the, the one who has still a lucid mind. Anyway, none of that I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about because uh, the, the help, the amount of help that has been given to Ukraine, it seems to be dwindling. And this, is, uh, this was obvious, this was stated. I mean, the, there was a, it's been discussed, it's being discussed in the US. Uh, I think it, I don't wanna miss the number. I think it's around 25 billion, 24 billion aid package, package new aid package. But uh, Republicans are uh, making some demands, so it's not it's not clear if they're gonna get it like that or not. So uh, Blinken has announced uh, 300 and something, 350 million package, and then Zelensky with his uh, begging bowl, you know, the ones that they pass around in churches. It's a good metaphor for this. He went to other leaders like Canada, Trudeau give him, gives him some more hundreds of millions. Uh, but still, if you compare this with the previous aid packages, it is very, it is, it is not that much if you compare it. And so everyone is like, uh, everyone that comments on the alternative point of view, let's call it this way, so Russia's point of view, uh, it's uh, already making a big fuss, I've seen the titles um, about this uh, thing that uh, Zelensky's done, he's not there going to abandon him, uh, they want to force him to make uh, uh, a freezing of the conflict, and so they're gonna to start to twist the narrative a little bit and you see already other players that have traditionally when I mean traditionally I mean since the beginning since February 2022 traditionally big strong allies of Ukraine for example like Duda President Duda from Poland you see this kind of a war there they are they are having uh, about the, the grain, the grain imports, 
and then Duda didn't show up in a meeting in New York that he had appointed with uh, Zelensky. Uh, then a, lo a lot of people talk about Zelensky's facial expression, which I, which I actually think is something to, ho to hold in, in, in account, to, to, to take in account when, when you're judging. Because uh, if you see the evolution of his face expression, the last year and a half, you, I mean, the man is in clear, clear uh, stress, and, and is. Uh, it feels like I have the feeling when I look at his eyes that uh, somehow he was fooled into making the deal with the devil. This is the the words I would use <laughs> to describe. And now he, he realized that he is screwed that it's going to be, it's only a matter of time until it's game over for him, uh, and, uh, and yeah, and so he, it's, uh, he's getting more worried, he, the pressure amounts on his shoulders, uh, every, for each Ukrainian soldier, so for each thousand Ukrainians dead, for each meter that it's not advanced in the counteroffensive, for each million that is not given to Ukraine to conduct the war, and uh, and yeah, that's that's one thing. Of course, I think he must also fear for his life. I don't think he's he is the strong man that people portray him to be. Honestly, uh, he he was chosen because he was an actor. He had uh, good arguments initially, humane points of view. Uh, he talked about tolerance. He talked about uh, let them speak Russian, and he talked about peace. And then, of course, you know that none of that was true once he he took uh, office. Of course, some of you may argue that uh, Russia was the one that made the aggression, but we know how things were and why Russia uh, invaded. We can, we can discuss if it was too much or, or not. We can discuss if things could have gone otherwise. We can discuss that, for sure. But uh, we know that the, the provocation motive was there. It was actually quite solid. So anyway, everyone is thinking now that Zelensky's allies is turning their back on him. Uh, I do think that some of this can have some basis. It's logic to assume this. I mean, the war is costing very much to the Western countries. I feel it every day in my wallet, in my paycheck, because the paycheck remains static and the prices keep going up. For example, in Portugal, someone who was paying mortgage on on a house to live he was paying I give you an example he was paying before this it was paying 200 euros a month and now it's paying almost 500 so you see and this is a country where the minimum wage is 769 euros about this around this so you can see one can really get desperate if uh, this crisis affects him personally. So, but uh, I have, although I understand all this that is going on, I still am of the opinion that I put it straight. I don't like predictions, but this this time <laughs> I have to tell you what I think. You can help. You can hold me accountable. Can hold me responsible afterwards you can point me your finger if i'm wrong but i think a lot of aid is still gonna be uh, sent to ukraine the west is not gonna let ukraine fall i mean militarily and uh, a lot of it will be hidden and uh, about zelensky that i cannot be sure what's gonna what's going to happen to him if he dances to the tune, if he keeps dancing to the tune, he's held in office. 
If not, it's very, very easy to, to replace. Just remember, remember this example. The Western propaganda makes you believe that everything in Ukraine is pink and they are defending freedom and the government is it's five stars, top of the top, whatever. Uh, real decent people. But the, you, we know that nowadays this kind of information can be forgotten in a matter of days. The most dramatic news one day can be 180 degrees opposite a couple of days later. Everyone forgets about it. As we say in Portuguese, it goes from the best to the beast. So the guy that is a hero today, it can be turned real easy, real easy. The mainstream media can do this just like that, with a snap of a finger and can demonize you in no time. So I think uh, Zelensky, if he doesn't play to the tune at some time, if, if they get in disagreements, he will be, he will be done pretty fast, pretty fast. I don't, I don't doubt. But I do not think that uh, the, the assistance to Ukraine will dwindle. I don't see the United States abandoning such a valuable proxy because then if you look look uh, before look back in history when did the united states ever have such a powerful proxy that was willing to sacrifice as the ukrainians are doing never not only that it's also considerable in size i mean they tried to make afghanistan a proxy i mean they they Trained like what? 400,000 strong army? They were boasting about it before leaving it, and we all know how it turned out. <laughs> I mean, a complete joke. But Ukraine, they've seen it's not like that. Although I do have the feeling that they, a lot of people don't want to go to the front lines, but they, they have no other choice. The system is too tight now, too indoctrinated, too tight, too, too strong of a hand. Opposition has or, or dissent have has no chance there whatsoever So yeah, I just I don't want to uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to Break the joy or spoil the joy of the people who are thinking now, now this is it now At any day now the counter the Ukrainian counteroffensive will stop and then it would be the turn of the, of the Russians and they will Big arrow march to Kiev or something like this. Uh, I don't think. I think, uh, unfortunately, there will be much more blood to be spilled. Unfortunately, until this this uh, sees a, sees an end. Yeah. So that was my thoughts for today. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe my channel. It costs nothing. Uh, I know I, I am aware of the limitations of my videos, I mean in terms of production, in terms of image quality, in terms of content quality, because it, content depends, it, it requires time to read, to research, and I have, like I stated many times before, full-time job, full-time family, all of this is great, I do love my life but I uh, will keep doing these videos. So yeah, please, I just ask your help just with a simple subscription. It's zero cost, what do you have to lose anyway? Uh, if you don't like to me like rambling about this stuff, you can just turn it off. So actually on your side, there is nothing to lose. Thank you very much.